right, all. Here we go. We're on our way out to my sister's in the middle of nowhere, Michigan, to pick up my dad's forgotten Christmas Christmas gifts from Santa Claus. So what we got to do, it's going to be about an hour or so drive. And uh, once we get that stuff, we're going to get it home. We got some great things that we're going to do for this Christmas presents. We got a beautiful velvet Christmas like Santa Claus bag that will be roped off and tied. And uh, that's how we're going to deliver these gifts to my dad tomorrow night. So stick around, enjoy, and uh, hopefully this is uh, inspiring for the rest of you as it is for us. All right, Merry Christmas. I love you, and let's continue our journey. Good morning, everyone. Merry Christmas. Today is December 25th, 2023. Today I'm preparing our Christmas bag for my father's forgotten Christmas. As you can see, we do have all of his gifts from Santa Claus for the year, 1949. And right here, this is the piece of resistance. Pardon my French. I'm not very good at French. I don't speak French. I just knew the word. Right here is the letter itself. From Santa Claus to my father, Hector. All the way down to the postmark. So please, we're going to get this bagged up, get this loaded in the car, and we're going to start our journey over to my father's. We're going to begin a recording and hopefully get some incredible reaction. So please stay and join us. Let's have a Merry Christmas, and of course, let's look forward to the new year. Let's go. Oh, hey, let's go. We got to drop these gifts off. Let's have some fun. In the meantime, to uh, keep us in the spirit, let's get some Christmas music going. All right, you guys, we did it. We're here. We're the only ones here. No one's got a clue. So first things first, we have to get our letter out to him and put it someplace where we know he's going to notice it. So right here, what we are going to do is we're going to place it on the tree itself. So when he comes in, he's going to see it. And of course, we are going to have the presents laid out all around the tree. So let's do this. Come on. All right, you guys, we did it. We have the presents under the tree, and all there's left to do is to wait for Dad to get home this afternoon. I can't wait to see the emotion and the reaction on his face. Once again, he has no clue we're doing this for him. It's going to be a total surprise. He's getting the Christmas that he missed when he first moved here to Michigan in 1949. I'm sure he's going to love it, and that's why we're here, to show our appreciation for our parents, honoring our mother and father. Not only are we honoring our mother and father, we're trying to show you what Christmas is truly all about. It's about love. Showing love to all of those around you that you just love. It's that simple. Sacrificing. A small sacrifice here and there. A little part of yourself to show appreciation to someone else around you. Now I want you to think about that sacrifice. 
What's a greater sacrifice? Well, I can tell you this. Only one man, only one man was able to do it. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He was so loving. He manifested himself here, right here on earth. So we can understand our sins. Understand our free will. Why we do the things we want to do. That's love. He loved us so much. He was willing to live in sin and sacrifice himself for not only you, but for me. You don't have to believe it, but that's okay, because he did it anyway. And that's really what Christmas is all about. Now, what we're going to do here is, I'm going to stop it here. Now, following this, we are going to have all of the reactions to my father opening all of his gifts. And if any of these segments this month have put a smile on your face, or even warmed your heart just a little bit, Give me a like, give me a share, and of course, give me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And on that, kids, I love you. Merry Christmas. And of course, can't wait to have a good new year. Talk to you guys soon. Good night. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can hear me on the other side. I don't think they're in just yet. They're on their way into the building, and I have the camera positioned and just waiting for them to walk in. So this might be a few minutes. I may cut to it as soon as they walk into the door. Hey, Antonio. Hi. Hey, Tanya. What's going on with this game? I don't know. Merry Christmas, Dad. Uh, Merry Christmas. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. but did you see hey. what's up here? Just walking in the door, my arms are full. You see my neck around. Yeah. This was out here when I got here. I don't know. Did someone, did Kathy, or you guys didn't lose track of Kathy or anything overnight or anything? Just sat down. No, we, uh, we were, we talked to him a long time. We were outside. Yeah, we were outside. Yeah. In the garage. In the garage. I don't know where that came Could that be from Benny by any chance? I don't know. Cause I don't know, because. Because uh, he's, I was Nick sure a whole bunch of stuff under the tree, too. I don't know where it came from. I got here, started the oven, got everything put in there, and I saw this stuff here, and I'm like, oh, something happened. I don't know who did it, so I, I got... Yeah, hey, you. Hey, you. I got more junk, more stuff under there. <laughs> well, we just walked in. Let me hang this up. Here's 1949. A young Mexican boy came to Michigan and was told about Christmas. And Christmas <laughs> did not happen. Right. <laughs> Santa Claus got hold of all of us and said that he was sending you a letter. I'm done. So, Deb? So, why don't you come get the letter? Hector. Hector. That's a post. Santa Claus airmail. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me help. You. What is that? Thing? Okay, this is oh page two. This page is page two. one. How the heck am I going to read all this? No, I'm doing good. Well, you want me to read it for you? Okay, let me read it for you. I gotta put that in a frame. Okay, you hold the bottom part, okay? North Pole, see all that? North Pole, yeah. Dear Hector, this is Santa. It's that busy time of the year again. I wanted to take a moment to write to you. I have a story about a young boy, a good boy, who always did what his parents asked of him and even helped support the family when needed. I asked my head elf, Chiron, about this boy. Chiron said, yes, Santa, Hector's a very good boy, but Santa, there's a problem. I asked him how this could be of such a good boy. He's such a good boy. <clears throat> Chiron yeah. continued saying that you, Hector, didn't know about Christmas until your family moved up from Texas to Michigan. 
And Kyron said he lost track of you and your family somewhere along the way and only had the Goliath, Texas address. Back to the story. Yeah. Kyron said you didn't, you hadn't been to see me to sit on my lap, tell me what you'd like for Christmas, nor have your picture taken with me. Therefore, you had never been on the delivery list, although we had presents for you. The job I gave Kyron was to gather record keepers, do research, <laughs> and find you. I understand they went back 84 years to gather information on you for me. You are a special boy, Hector. I am sorry this has taken so long and all these years to get to you. I admit with the war newly being over with, we were swamped with requests from all over the world. It put a great amount of stress on Mrs. Claus and my elves. We tried so hard to fulfill those requests and wishes throughout the years. In doing so, we lost track of a few good, deserving boys and girls, such as you. Another part of the story is Mrs. Claus. The elves and I needed to clean out our workshop. As you learned from your family, do a spring cleaning. Okay, that's page two. It's curled up pretty good, huh? Yeah. We needed to make room for new equipment for the elves and get started gathering materials for the next season's presents. The elves and I were moving a cabinet with Shelby and guess what happened? A large bag fell from the top shelf and boys' toys spilled out from it. We were all so surprised. Mrs. Claus was so upset. I was so shocked and wondered who these presents belonged to and Kyron was embarrassed and ashamed. How could this happen? As I've said before, there is not a gift that is deserved that goes undelivered. We were so sad. All we could think about was how disappointed a young boy must have felt. It just so happens, even though you weren't able to visit me, the elves and Kyra made toys for you. These were your presents, Hector. A few of them I brought back to the North Pole because upon delivery, your family had moved. These were your presents from Christmas of 1949. Wow. <laughs> You are a good boy and have become an incredible man. Hector, these presents I have placed under your Christmas tree have been in our warehouse since 1949. Please accept these presents in love and honor. Thank you for your everlasting patience. Enjoy this Christmas knowing you are never forgotten and never will be. Merry Christmas and eternal love, Santa. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Dad. Thank you. Now what do I do? We're going to hand you a present. You're going to open up your presents from 1940. There is one there I saw that's in the tree there. In the tree? Right this there. one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's a whole bunch There's here. There's a whole bunch in there. No, I'm looking at the one I just read. Okay. Cigarette. I need a cigarette. <laughs> you hear that? Yep. <laughs> Blinky. <laughs> Your brothers and sisters had them, Hector, not you, but... Well, get to the next one. Let's see what else we yeah. got over there. We can well, open and play with them after. Let's see what this little one is. Or should this go last? I don't know. That's oh, wherever okay. it was. That was we're all here. Okay, all we, right. know, we know what this is. This is yeah, Slinky. Let's see you do it. Let's see you do it. That. I never did that. You guys did it. You well, and your brother. You, you can do it. You gotta fulfill that 1949 year old kid. 1949, I was. Yeah. I don't know what Santa was. Yeah. I know it's it's just up and down, Dad. Yeah, you do no, it. No, you do it. It's yours. <laughs> you don't throw it up. You just go like this. We'll come over there later this week. <laughs> hey, you gotta show me. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. 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 All right, try this one. That's a lot of pressing. I thought it was two cookies there. I'm going to find out. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Boy, oh, yo-yo. <laughs> I know how to do these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember these. Okay. I can't do it in here though. Not only if you're standing up. <laughs> you do a lot of those, that's for sure. Nectar. Santa. And even Santa Claus uses Amazon. Even Santa Claus uses Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I was on the. Oh. I'm gonna put that up there too. So okay. Uh, All right. You want to get a knife? Oh, I know where it is. On the other side of that. Did you put it away? No, it's still there. Other side of the. Uh... <laughs> Check that out, man. Oh, that's an old timer. Oh, I'm gonna get that stool and sit on the stool. Yeah. Well, Dad, all of those are toys from 1949. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. I know this one does. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the first one I had didn't have the string through here. It was just... It wasn't oiled. Santa? <laughs> yeah, this looks like the one, yeah. And see the size? That's the size it used to be without yeah. these. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I gotta put that up someplace. Strip it open, Dad. Like that nine, ten-year-old one would have yeah. done. Is this a potty thing? I don't think there's any potty things in here. <laughs> I'll be darn. Hey, guess what? I had one of these, only it was white. This color, the whole holster, everything, yeah. I didn't have this. Oh, that's a belt. Yeah. I had to have my own belt. I didn't have one for the holster. Thank you. Funny. <laughs> yeah. okay, you don't try that one. The eight ball. <laughs> That's what everybody had back then. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> it feels like plastic. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this would knock you out, you know that? Yeah. If you hit in the head, it'll knock you out. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Hang off of that? Yes, you did. I got it under the tree. <laughs> That's a truck. That's a vintage falcon truck. It's got dirt on it, too. <laughs> it's, it's been well plumbed. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, it's been all over. How <laughs> dirty that is. <laughs> well, it's just it's, right. That's the color. You gotta, you gotta remember, it's been sitting in the North Pole for yeah. you know seventy-four yeah. years. Man, oh man! Good. God, what do I do with this? <laughs> Will you play? Put it on my head or something. 
<laughs> wow. Boy, that's authentic too. Boy, look at that. It's got two headlights. <laughs> that's not broken. It's not broken. Double wheels in the back, that's right. This is something, man. <laughs> wow. I gotta figure out what to do with that truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kathy, I'm gonna put you in front of the camera so you can say hi to the camera. Okay. Hi, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, time to bed. Well, we got all that tape in the other room. We can tape it back up good if you want. Ooh wee. Look at that. Wow. That is a beautiful car. It is. Wow. Motormax. You show it though. No, just. Oh. You show it. Here, you show it. Got it? Yeah. yeah, what kind is it? Oh, it's a screw. Yeah. No, I... Okay, it says Mercury. Mercury? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. And we've got two more. Is that all? Hey! Just two. Add that to the other place and it'll fit all the way around your head. Yeah, air plus. That other one didn't have air flight on it. Or did it? Well, this is a boy on two. There you go. Probably the wood. Alright, let's see. Let me hold it. You there we it. go. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now you have to check it out. Oh, oh yeah. rub it dice. Oh, thanks. Put it by his right foot button. Careful, man. It just yeah, flops, it flops, the top it. flops open. Yeah. The top flops open. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that stuff goes in there. I'll hold this. Hey, it opens up now. That's it. That's it. That's, That's the it. game. That's the game. That yeah, is the game. That is a vintage 1949 baseball peg game. Well, That's the first time I've seen one of these. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Never seen anything like this. So each of your pegs, of course, are your base runners. Your dice rolls are what you get for your out oh, singles. Okay. Yeah. Remember the game we used to play with the cards? That's why that when one? I when I saw this, I was like, yeah. I had to get this. Yeah. Because we used to play baseball with the cards. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah. This is 1949. It goes in that. Yeah. That truck is older yeah. than 49. <laughs> <laughs> you can read that card later. You ain't kidding. We all are Cape Happy, aren't we? <laughs> We are. <laughs> yeah, travel. 1949 edition. Now we have to learn English. 1949. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got it on here, babe. Yeah. 1949 edition. Something like this. Or like that stuff. It's got to, uh, it's got to have a place for it. Well, then maybe got to figure that out. Maybe we still got to see, see how nice this is. Yeah. It's authentic. And if it isn't authentic, got 1949 on there, and you don't want to tear it up. You don't want to open it up. Because, uh, it's not good it looks. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, 
Now, why would you want to tear this up, open it up, and... Play with it? Yeah. Maybe the words were different in 1949. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> it's got right on here, the content is what it is. And, it's, and the year, 1949. A hundred wood letter tiles. Four vintage wood title racks. Fabric, pouch, instructions. If we take this apart, we won't have to be together and see how we play the game. And we'll play. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Very good. Muchas gracias. Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Dad. Thank you, guys. Merry Christmas to you guys. Merry Christmas. Yeah. 1949. Yeah. It was really, really impressive as that truck. Oh, it is. Yeah, look at it. It's been out working. <laughs> it's been out working. It's been out working. Yep. Yep. It's been out working. Finally stopped. <laughs> Look at this. 1949. Well, I remember when uh, my brothers and sisters, sisters were upstairs with me. And I told him there's Santa Claus brought a whole lot of stuff and it's downstairs under that tree. So we all ran down the stairs, but there was nothing. <laughs> and uh, they looked at me and I didn't know what to tell them because there was nothing there. And uh, we asked mom and dad and they told us what it was. And that black man, uh, Charlie, Charles something. I can't remember his last name, him and his wife. Um, yeah, they were both black. And uh, it was uh, something that we didn't know about until maybe a couple years later, a year later, we learned about Christmas. But this to me looks like 1949. <laughs> yep. And I remember this too. Only the, this was brown if I remember right. I didn't have a belt because I had to use my own. And uh, the gun looked similar to that. The truck, uh, we were in a pickup truck when we came up to Michigan. And uh, had a cover on it. And it wasn't dirty like that. I don't think it was. <laughs> And this it's is the work truck. Dirty. And that, <laughs> what we were in, it was a pickup truck. And then we were all crowded in there, but we got warm because it was cold up here. Yeah. And it snow. We never seen snow before until we come up here. So you guys drove up in the truck in the wintertime? Pickup truck, yeah. But it was covered. It had a cover on it. I and it wasn't it. a work truck. This is a work truck. Talking about a pickup truck. Okay. I remember the first time we had it was at night. It was cold. And my dad took me into the restaurant where we we're going to get some food and take it out to the truck. And the, what was the name of that song? Uh, Pistol Packing Mama with two or three. Sailors, they had their gear on and everything, all the white stuff and everything, and they were going with the song. This so back in Mama. Yep. <laughs> and, and that was 49. That was uh, four years after the uh, four years after the war, you know. But they were still dressed in their in their white gear. Yeah, they were in there singing, This so back in Mama. <laughs> 